Good morning. As the world celebrates Palm Sunday, I couldn't find a palm tree to stay in under, so I'll do my best. I want to talk to you about trust. The word trust is used 199 times in the scriptures. It must be something important. 1 Corinthians 13 reminds us that our bodies are the temple of God. And as we fight this virus, we must strive to exercise proper care in protecting our bodies. Matthew 6 tells us a little bit about the things we worry about. So do not worry, saying, what shall I eat? Or what shall I drink? Or what shall I wear? The Lord will take care of us if we trust him. If we seek first his kingdom, as verse 33 says, trust him first, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. The Apostle Paul writes in Philippians 4.19, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tell us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. A man told a story one time about his son. He said, while well, my son Zach and I were in the country, climbing around some cliffs, I heard a voice yell, hey dad, catch me. I turned around to see Zach joyfully jumping off of a rock straight at me. He had jumped and then he yelled, hey dad. I became an instant circus act, catching him as we both fell to the ground, I gasped in exa exasperation. And I said, Zach, give me one good reason why you did that. He responded with remarkable calmness. Sure, Dad. Sure, because you're my dad. Likewise, we have a Heavenly Father whom we can trust and he will keep us safe. Dwight L. Moody said, trust in yourself and you are doomed to disappointment. Trust in your friends and they may die or leave you. Trust, but trust in God and you are never to be confounded in time or eternity. As Isaiah 26, four says, trust the Lord. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is the rock eternal. <clears throat> Corey Ten Boom, a Holocaust survivor, said, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. We know our Heavenly Father is watching out for us. We can trust in Him. Someone said, when a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer. That's what we must do in these trying times. Trust the engineer. Trust our Heavenly Father. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 said, as I say again, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. And Psalm 91 verse two says, God is my refuge and fortress. In God will I put my trust. Psalm 56 
Verse 3 says, When I am afraid, I will put my trust in thee, in God whom I praise. In God I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. And then he adds later, What can man do to me? We must trust in our Heavenly Father. He is watching over us. He cares for us. He's got this. We must just simply wait it out, knowing that he will be there, watching over us. I have a little poem that I want to read. It was written in 1872 by Norman MacLeod. Courage, brother, do not stumble. Though thy path is dark, as night. There's a star to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. Let us pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, that we can count on you in times like this. We just trust you. We know there have been difficult times before that you have brought us through as you will bring us through this. Watch over us. Keep us safe. Guide and direct us. Help us to have that confidence in trusting you to do what is best for us. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.